All right, Bob Hallmark, uh, I'm out at Mod Cop Activity Center. It is all over but the shouting and the uh, tabulating right now. Uh, the Great Texas Balloon Race uh, has ended this morning with the final flight uh, for uh, all of those uh, that, are, that are participating. They're looking uh, at the uh, championships now as, as far as who will uh, score enough points uh, to actually win the Nationals and to win the Great Texas Balloon Race. And joining me right now is one of our pilots here. Go ahead and let people know who you are. Good morning, everybody. All right, and? Bob Gonzalez from Waco, Texas. Yeah, Bob, we've talked lots of times yes, before. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, you've been a regular to this. I mean, uh, absolutely. You, you've seen it, you know, when it, it might have been only a three-day competition, and you've seen now this, uh, this extended competition. How was it this year for you? I love the weather. It was absolutely cooperative. I, I think we flew just about every day. Today was a challenge with the winds. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it, I just, it was a good, very... A uh, competitive day. Every target was absolutely covered with baggies. Mm -hmm. the, the, I mean, it's amazing. I noticed that. Now, uh, go ahead and tell everybody what your balloon is, too, by the way. Oh, my balloon? Yeah. Uh, my balloon's name is Hard Earned. Hard Earned. And okay. she's a racer. And she lives up to the name of Hard Earned. She's, <laughs> she loves to fly. She's always brought me good luck here in Longview. There we go. And uh, up until... Uh, Yesterday, I was in second place, but mm -hmm. the competition's tough here. All right. Now, you were part of the uh, Great Texas Balloon Race. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, uh, we might want to explain to people there's a strategy involved in this. When you get out there, it's not just as simple as just putting air in the balloon. No, sir. I mean, you got to know uh, where you're going to start from. You got to know the prevailing oh, winds, yeah. right? Oh, yes. Especially today with the winds, uh, we're very fast. So, it is, you, you had to choose your launch site perfectly. And the forecasted winds and the winds that we started with at 6.30 this morning wasn't what we had at 7 o'clock. So uh, in my division, 90% of the, the balloonists missed the target because the wind switched and there was nothing we could do when we were doing 25 miles an hour. Now you're at the point where you hope you did well the other days, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. It, it's all about being uh, consistent and steady Eddie over here. Yeah. And uh, I was in second, but I had a couple of competitors today that made the target that I didn't. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. From what I saw as I, as I was out at the uh, at the Raytech target, is uh, everybody seemed to be coming into a trough and like following each other, and uh, just about everybody at that target was hitting it. I mean, just dead bullseye. Absolutely. In in, in a day like this. You, no matter where you launch, you try to get into the Congo line and follow everybody in front of you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a, a potluck at times when you finally get into the target. I'm guessing pilots live for days like that when, you have, the, when you have that wind that just takes you right to it. Yep. Right? Uh, is there, now, you've been doing this for a long time. Yes, sir. What is the excitement for a pilot? I'm, I know you go all over the country and fly and that sort of mm -hmm. thing, but what is the excitement when you have this kind of competition with these kind of pilots uh, coming together at one's place? Oh, not only do we challenge ourselves, we're challenging Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. And our competitors just happen to be around us mm -hmm. and they're dealing with the same conditions we are. And the nice thing about it is we don't have to, uh, well, we don't have the ability to just point and, and steer where we want to go. Mother Nature has to work with us, and we have to work with Mother Nature, and it's always been a challenge, and that, that's what I love about it. All right, and still having fun at it. Absolutely. This has one of the, been one of the best weekends I had in years. It's All right. been fun. Well, Bob, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you, sir. It. All right. All right, and uh, now very shortly we will have the awards uh, presentations uh, for the categories of National Champion, uh, Great Texas Balloon Race Champion, and the Young Guns Champion, which is uh, the uh, young guys that have come in and maybe first-timers flying in this as well. Uh, so that will be coming up uh, here in just a few minutes. We will not know for probably a couple hours who won this thing, uh, but we will be updating you as we go. And we'll have more on the story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.